What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally done with the stuff here in Salacion Town, especially in the Lost Tower, and now it's finally time to buy a few things here on the Pokemon because yeah, in the last episode, kind of forgot to do all that stuff, you know, buy items, extra items, healing items, and all that fun stuff because, you know, I'm a procrastinator and whatnot. So I'm just going to get myself a few super potions, revives, you know, revives are always good. Antidotes as well because, uh, hey, you know, I always seem to get poisoned, especially per paralysis heals. And, uh, well, let's see. You know what? Let's go with some more super repels. Need those extra 150 steps. Alrighty, so... Let's go ahead and just get the heck out of here. It is finally time to get the heck out of here and uh, say bye bye to the Pokemon uh, daycare and all that stuff. And here we are in Route two, uh, 210, and we're going to be grabbing a few uh, berries here and there, you know, like Aspir berries, uh, Nana berries, Babuta berries, Rabuda berries. You know, I like saying those, I like saying the berry names just because they're so fun. I don't even know why. But there's the raspberry. Huh, huh, huh. You know, a little bit of a pun right there. And uh, what is this one? Oh, yes, the peanut berry. Peanut. I like saying that. Peanut. That's a fun word. Now, in this area right here, you're going to be battling a bunch of uh, farmer uh, trainers, you know, cowboy trainers and whatnot. I believe this is the area where you can actually find some rare Pokemon, too. Uh, one being, I would like to say, Lickitung. I could be wrong. But we're going to be battling right now against a cowgirl. Is it a cowgirl or is it a farmer? No, it's a rancher. A rancher marker. And these guys are very infamous on having uh, on having uh, ponytails because, you know, hey, horse Pokemon, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's go right ahead and just take care of business. Yeah, that ember attack will not work against my Hydra 4. So here we go. Bite attack. For oh, no. I thought it was going to be for the win. I usually say things a little too early because whatever. And look, I flinch. Two for flinching, and this guy is just kicking my butt right now, which is not cool. Not cool whatsoever. And I, I, I get burnt, and I flinch. Yeah, it's not a good deal for me. And again, you know, Hydra number four gets burnt yet again, which is annoying. And look at that. That's not very annoying. Level 25. Still hasn't learned a new move, which is very annoying. Okay, so let's go ahead and use some of those items that we just bought to actually heal this Pokemon right here. Um, crud, I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I bought myself a burnt, er, a burnt item, so I'm going to have to go back to the Poke Store. That's annoying. Jeez. And, you, and you, you would think I'd be prepared for this kind of stuff. All right, lady, give me my uh, burnt heal right here. Yeah, I need a few of those. Now, it could be one of two things right here. I could use the Burnt Heal, and, or I could just go to the Pokemon Center. Either or, you still get your Pokemon healed, which is annoying, but let's go back up there and uh, take care of more business right now. So, let's see. Uh, that guy won't battle us, but this person right here will actually give us a little bit of an item. We get the TM-51, which is uh, Roost, I believe. Yeah? Is it Roost? Is it? Yes, it is. It's Roost. The roosters in the hen, or in the pen, I should say. Alright, so, let's go ahead and, uh, well, first is first, I gotta heal my Pokemon. You can never go wrong with healing your Pokemon, guys. And, uh, let's see. Let's see, what is next? Alright, so I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon right here, too, because that's always cool. And, uh, does this guy want to battle? No, he will battle us eventually. I don't know what time he will want to battle us eventually, but... Yeah, that's cool. And here we have the twins. So we're going to be battling. Uh, we're going to be doing a double battle right here. So bring it on, girls. They want to battle with us. Yeah. Get it. Here we go. Let's do it. Terry and Tia want to battle. And they both have a Pikachu and a Clefairy. Well, I got my Donatello and Starblade. Now, huh. This could be a bad one for Starblade, but that Intimidate thing will actually work out for us. So here we go with a uh, here we go with a little bit of an attack right here. Yes, we're gonna do that. That is right. Oh oh oh! And and, and here we go, Razor Leaf attack, hitting them both right now. Look at that. You're not feel you're not liking that. Hell no, you're not. That's right. But by the Pikachu, and there goes Clefairy. Down for the count. That's right. How about that? Okay, so let's see. We're getting experience points. Everybody's happy. 
Hydra number four, you know, happy bastard just because, you know, he's not doing really much. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here because why not? Let's go ahead and battle everybody. Kick all y'all's asses, right? Right. Alrighty, okay, so here we go, Breeder Kahil, or Khalil, comes out with an Elac kid, which is, uh, you know, I, I, I wish I had an Elac kid. I think they put, like, in Pokemon Platinum, I believe they put a little more emphasis on the baby Pokemon tier, too, because, like, see, Bonsly? Bonsly? Um, yeah, that's a new baby Pokemon, Mime Jr., I think that's another one, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so... Yeah, I guess. Oh, and Happiny too. A lot of baby Pokemon can come out in Generation 4. Or, let's see, yeah, Generation 4. Keep on thinking that I'm in Generation 5 or something. And there you go. Mega Drain. I hope it's for the win. Nope. Using that copycat. And, uh, well, it's going to use a Mega Drain on me too. So, I'm not a happy camper right now. And look at that. It doesn't take very much, but it still took something. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Here we go. Razor Leaf. Will I defeat it? And there we go. Bubba bye Happiny. Happiny. Happiny or Happiny. I can't even say it right. Again, I am very infamous for butchering names, so it is what it is, guys. It is. And let's see what we got here. We got ourselves a Super Repel, which we've already bought early on in our adventure right here. And we're going to go through this place, and oh, we couldn't even sneak by this person. And yeah, she's another breeder right here. Okay. Alright, bring it. Just bring it. So here it is. Pokemon Breeder Magby. Or Pokemon Breeder. And it's coming out with a Magby. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon because yes, I do get it. It is a uh it is it is indeed a whatchamacallit Pokemon. It is a uh a fire type Pokemon, but still you know, we don't want to get beaten by a baby Pokemon or anything like that. So here we go with a Rock Tomb attack. That's right. It takes it like a champ. And uh, Magby's still alive, but its speed has fallen, which is also very good for me, I guess. And there's that Ember attack that was going to really, really mess us up if we didn't take care of it. And there we go. Takedown attack. A little bit of recoil right there. And bam. We get burnt again. Jesus. Okay, so Donatello grows to level 32, or 30, or level 29. Wow. Dyslexia. Not cool, guys. And, uh, well, we're hurt by our burn, which, you know, is also cool. We're also very, very cool on uh, getting beaten by our, our own fire. So, we're going to be switching it out right here. And we're coming out with Starblade. Alright, bring it. Just bring it. Alrighty. So, Togepi, huh? Alright, Togepi. I got one of you back in my PC, but I'm not going to use you. So there we go with the wing attack. Not much, but it's making us yawn. Ugh. Jeebus. And crackers. Here we go. Wing attack. Hopefully for the win. And that is it. Look at that. Say goodbye. Say good freaking bye to Togepi. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it right there for those people. And of course, heal burn. You got. You can't go wrong with the heal burn right there. So, Lexi, I think we still got the double battle right here. Yes, we do. So here we go with the two people that we need a double battle in. And uh, all, one is gonna show his show me in front of his daughter how to battle and whatnot. Which is okay, I guess. All right, bring it. So they got both a Ponyta and a Rapidash, which already we've already yeah we've already lost due to the speed factor right there. And uh, the other part too. Donatello! Yeah, grass type Pokemon. Especially a fully evolved Rapidash. Uh uh, don't want to mess with that right now. No siree bub. Alright, so we're going to be switching it out to my good old buddy Hydra number four. And, uh, well, let's go with some Toothless right here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be switching out my. Everybody. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch out everything to my Dragon Pokemon right here. Well, Hydra number four is not really a Dragon Pokemon, but you go. You guys get what I mean. Alrighty. Alright, your Intimidate does some damage onto them, and here we have a little bit of an Ember. Uh, fire Spin. Not not gonna affect me very much, but we're st we're just trapped in the Vortex right here. You know, it could be, it would be nice to learn a Water-type attack just about now, you know. 
it would work like right about now now and uh, here we go we're gonna attack Rabidash first because it's the strongest of the two and uh, wow it, it, you know we're taking it we're taking hits like champs right here but damn that fire spin is just knocking us out of the corner right there so let's go again and uh, do some more damage while these guys are just beating us and whatnot so here we go again Dragon Rage to the Rapidash eat it Rapidash and that's how you beat Rapidash what now what now and uh, well or Hydra number four grows to level 26 and it's learning Leer. What the f oh god. All right, well, I'm gonna exchange Splash for it because really it's not much of a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. Time to gang up on this Ponyta right here. And uh, well, that Ponyta is surviving. Still stomping on every single one of my Pokemon right here. And uh, well, let's go ahead and do this again. Dragon Rage, murder for the murder. Nah, I'm just playing, just a bite attack. All right, look at that. Bye bye. Say goodbye. Bye bye bye. And sinks song, hit song, and all that stuff. All right, and uh, well, everybody's defeated. I'm feeling good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we defeated everybody right here, and uh, well, there's a gang of Psyducks right here, and they are not moving at all can only mean one thing. Yeah, that's an important place that we have to go later on. But we're going to be going right here into the cafe cabin. And we're going to check a few things out. Apparently, the cafe cabin is a uh, very, very special place where you can actually battle everybody. Um, so that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to be battling everybody just to conclude our episode. And uh, this guy is a collector. So bring it. Just bring it. So Collector Edwin is coming out with his Munchlax. I guess he's going with the theme right here. Cafe, Munchlax, fat ass, you know, that kind of stuff. We're all big in some way, guys. And there we go, with a little bit of Razor Leaf, and uh, well, there's that Screech attack. Not cool, not cool, bro. All right, let's see what we gotta do. All right, let's go with Mega Drain. Don't wanna use a potion or anything like that, we just wanna beat you right here what now and good god still not defeated and uh, this much like is just trying to lower our defense pretty badly right there so one big one big hit from that guy that will be the end of us right there so let's go ahead and use that razor leaf attack here we go razor leaf hopefully for the win eat it much literally and figuratively eat it what now so there we go. Yeah, what, what did I do to your Pokemon? I just destroyed them. I, I destroyed them all. You gotta catch them all, right? Right. And, uh, okay. So, let's see. I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon right now. And, uh, hopefully, this next batch of trainers are just, like, actually good or something. So, this guy is a collector as well. So, I guess we're in a uh, cafe filled with collectors. This guy's name is Fernando, and he has a pretty cool Heracross right here. All right. Gaia number two, let's do this. And I just figured out book type Pokemon are stronger than psychic types. Crap. But I'm gonna continue on right here, but look at this. That brick break. Oh gravy. May not be effective, but it takes a buttload of my HP. It does. And that confusion doesn't do much. So I'm gonna have to switch out my Pokemon. Why are you so weak, Gaia number two? Why? Uh Never mind. Okay, so going back to Starblade right here, and uh, Heracross is looking like a champ right now because he's going to be using his Fury attack. See, that would have defeated uh, Gaia number two in a heartbeat, but they thought wrong. That's right. They thought wrong. So, what we're going to do, wing attack. Time to eat it. Time to pay the piper right there. That's right, Heracross. You look so cool, you look so strong, but I just defeated you with one Badass Star Blade right here, and uh, well, everybody's looking pretty awesome right now. Hydra number four, growing experience points like crazy because it's not doing nothing. I probably should give that experience share to somebody else. I don't know, maybe Gaia number two. And here we have, I believe, our final challenger. I could be wrong. Waitress Katie coming out with a Clefairy, and uh, I'm gonna be coming out with Gaia number two. All right, and that cute charm is a. Uh, 
going to affect us in some way. So, I'm going to be switching out my Pokemon right now. Let's go straight to Donatello right here. Yeah, buddy. Donatello. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And there is that cosmic power. And, oh, God. Okay. And that, there's the defense, and there's everything else. Okay. Let's go with the Bite Attack. Just risk on that cute charm right there. And uh, it flinched. So let's go again and let's use Razor Leaf. And this time, our Quick Claw is actually going to work. And uh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Clefairy. And that's how you defeat everybody in a freaking uh, cafe. It's just a little preview of what might happen later on, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah! Do it! And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So now. I guess if you defeat everybody, they... Oh, no, actually, no, there's no stipulation to this. But this is also a place where you can actually buy Moo Moo Milk, which I will buy. And I'm uh, just going to buy a dozen uh, Moo Moo Milks because, you know, milk's always good. I can't drink it because black doesn't call intolerant. But it is what it is, guys. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, I'll be right back.